Hi guys, I'm Sangyang Longast. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make very special Korean recipe that it got viral in LA. Spicy Korean spicy beef short rib. It's braised, it's so much flavor in it. You can like customize however you wanna do with the vegetables or the spiciness or put on cheese on top if you want to or not, whatever you wanna do. Go ahead and I'll try this at home. Let's get started. So what I did is blanched five pounds of beef short ribs. You can find this thick beef short ribs cut at Korean market or Asian grocery store. Or if you ask your local butcher shop, they might do it for you as well. So bring enough water to boil and place those beef short ribs in and we are just going to bring back to boil. It might take five to 10 minutes and that's okay. We're not losing any flavor, guys. We're not losing any flavors. We will get rid of all the excess blood, the excess little bone bits on the meat and the bones and all the stuff and like extra fat. We definitely do not want to eat that. So this is the fastest, fastest, tears, fastest and effective way, e effective way. <laughs> For the clean flavor, it's necessary to do this step. When the water is just start boiling again, go ahead and drain the beef and rinse under the cold water really nicely, give it nice and rubbed to get rid of you know all the bone bits and place into the same pot that you know just kind of wash it through real quick and place all the ribs back to the pot. All right now to the clean beef short ribs, I'm going to add three quarter cup of soy sauce. Soy sauce. You have to say it like that. Soy sauce. I highly recommend it to use Korean soy sauce if you are able to get it. If it's not, it's okay. And you will need six cups of water because we are going to cook this beef short ribs long enough. We need enough liquid to, you know, keep braising the beef. One third cup of sugar. Galbiji must be savory and sweet, and this one spicy. So we need. Gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes. So if you want, actually, you can use regular red pepper flakes or Thai red pepper flakes too. And a cup of soju, Korean, what was that, Korean liquid? No, Korean liqueur. It's not rice wine. What do you call it? This is like a you know, boil it and the steam comes out from the thing and the steam is the steam becomes the liquid and that's the alcohol. Mm. So it's a liquor, it's a soju. So it's a Korean liquor, um, but if you don't have this, vodka or rice wine will actually do the job. Quarter cup of meshirek, Korean plum extract. You can purchase this down below from the farm or you can, for this recipe, a quarter cup, Africa jam works. Or apple, juice. apple juice is amazing. Okay, so you can substitute the Meshire Korean plum extract to apple juice if you cannot find it or if you don't have it. And about a teaspoon of ground pepper. Let's give it a good mix. I'm going to cover and bring it to boil over high heat and let it continuously high boil for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of hard boiling time is over, go ahead and reduce the heat to medium to medium low and simmer another 30 minutes. Start occasionally so beef won't stick on the bottom of the pot. And while the beef is boiling, make sure you soak your tangmyeon, the Korean glass noodles, in hot water. This is optional, you don't have to use these noodles if you don't want to, but I love glass noodles in my galbi jim, spicy galbi jim especially, that's why I'm adding it, but you can use like zero calorie noodles too if you wanna use that, those are totally fine. So anyways, I already went ahead and did it. So my tangmyeon is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and cut my radish, carrot, and onion. Guys got 
got girls for days. I don't really care cause all my days got your name on them. Sign your name on them. Pick it down for your hand, girl, this is it. Saving all my love for a single ring with your name on it. And I ain't sorry, no, I just wanna love you. Okay, my ribs has done hard boiling for 30 minutes, simmering for 30 minutes, and now this is the time to add the radish and the carrot we cut it earlier. Instead of the radish, you can definitely use a potato. Actually, potato, sweet potato works really good in this recipe, so if that's what you prefer, go ahead and do it. I just love a radish too. Uh, it just, when they soak it up all the flavor and got softened, they're nice and sweet, juicy. <laughs> So delicious. Radish and carrot is fully cooked. The sauce is getting thicker. Now I'm going to add the onion that we cut it earlier and the soft noodles that if you're using. Oh my god, I almost forgot putting chopped ginger and garlic. So you will need one and a half teaspoon of ginger and 20 cloves of garlic that chopped. So after you, you add the noodles, you kind of have to start occasionally, okay? Okay, okay, generally okay, get it? Jacob is so excited he's already here. I know. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Calbi Jim? <laughs> what can beat it? <laughs> Spicy Calbi Jim with mm. noodle. And now I'm gonna add uh, green onions and uh, red chili, green chili that I sliced earlier, about two inch long. They don't really need to cook it on the heat. I'm just gonna toast it and they will just wilt it out with the rest of the heat in here. It's gonna be so good. Is it good? Oh, shit. Ooh, I need a bigger spoon for this. My top. I can actually, I tasted a little bit earlier too, but for my taste, I can actually make it a little more spicier for me. Mmm. Mmm. So. You like it? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you do. Oh, look at that. Mmm. 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 I like the noodles. Obviously. Oh, look at that meat. Mm. I need one Mmm. 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 Dude, those so glass tender. noodles in there. Bomb. See, noodles, noodles. There's no coincidence. We eat noodles all the freaking time. Mm. I'm eating with chungak kimchi. The ponytail radish kimchi. Mm. And you usually eat this with rice. Mm. Mm. Kick your husband good. Kick your husband. Away. <laughs> Slap your wife. No, don't do that. No, no, no. Watch out. Okay. You can make this with um pork ribs if you want. But mmm, so good. Smokey hey, Smokey, what's up? Come on, boy. Back in the <laughs> Everybody loves your tongue, boy. Everybody loves your tongue. You think I want some? Oh, my baby boy. You're gonna hold one of them? Well, you're eating it, though. Okay. Guys, if you liked my spicy galbi jjim, 매운 galbi jjim, 
Korean spicy braised beef short rib. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Smokey giving you thumbs up. You giving mommy thumbs up? Thumbs up. They have an Instagram account, by the way. <laughs> you don't have to follow them, but it's so cute. I had to. And uh, Hanyeol was like, Imo, and you're the one of those per people. Who is the, the, the pet Instagram? <laughs> Some people's pets are more famous than people. Yeah, yeah, that's mm. true. Like, uh, hi, the, hi, I'm Chewy. Especially this cute face. Look at that cute face. Mm. And then oh, Ben is like, oh. what, what are you doing over there? He's shy. Okay. And subscribe my channel if you haven't. Don't forget the thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sangyeong Longas. I'm Jacob. Smokey and Bandit. And this is Asian at Home. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye guys. Ooh, water. Oh, oh, if you make my food, oh. go ahead and take a picture and tag me some young longest so I can see your picture, your recreations. So I can love it and I can comment it. Okay? Love you guys. I don't see the point of the bling bling bling. See me know my love for a single ring with your name on it. And I ain't sorry, no, I just wanna love you.